This is Oklahoma Lesson 19. It is found on OK53 in your small workbook. So OK53 at the bottom, Oklahoma Lesson 19 at the top right, and the title is Patterns with Two Operations. So I always used to wonder why it was called pepper spray. Yeah, why is pepper spray called pepper spray? Then I realized it's because you can use it if you ever get assaulted. Pepper spray. Assaulted. Salted. Really, Mr. Pingber? Really? I went there. I went there with pepper spray. Made a joke out of pepper spray and people getting assaulted. Man, that's a dad joke right there. All right, moving along. Ethan owes his mother $75. He is paying her $5 each week. Answer exercises 1 to 8 to complete the table that shows the amount Ethan still owes after five weekly payments. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. How much money will Ethan have paid after one week? Well, we know that's $5, right? $5. Show how you know the amount he still owes after one week. Well, he had 75 first, right? Then he paid back five. So we do 75 minus five, that equals 70, $70. How much money will Ethan have paid after two weeks? Well, we've got $10, right? Well, write an expression that shows how to find this amount. So we take five times two, right? Right, two weeks. Five dollars a week so we do five times two now we write the expression using W for the number of weeks so now we're going to do five times W or five W so either way either way that will work so then number three use the expression from exercise two so the five W to show how to find the amount Ethan still owes after W weeks. So we would do 75 minus 5W. The expression above is a rule for the table. It describes a pattern of change. Write the rule in the row with W. Use the rule to complete the table. The rule to complete the table. Okay, so I've already completed it for us. So we've got W, that's our rule. 75 minus 5w so week one we subtract 5 week 2 subtract 10 week 3 subtract 15 you can see we're doing times 5 times 5 times 5 right and then we take 75 and minus that 5w and 5 the w here is 5 so it's 5 times 5 75 minus 25 is 50 so after five weeks, he'll owe fifty dollars. What happens to the amount Ethan still owes when the number of weeks is increased by one? Well, he will owe five dollars less. Right? A little five dollars less if it's, if it's increased by one. Explain how to use the table to predict how much Ethan will owe after seven weeks. Well, look, if we do 75 minus 5W, well, W here is going to be seven, isn't it? Seven weeks. So 75 minus 5 times 7, which would be 75 minus 35, which would equal $40. See, we use that rule. 75 minus 5w and whatever number of weeks that is we replace the w with the number of weeks all right all right so explain how to use the rule to predict how much ethan will owe after seven weeks well we can say we can replace the w with the week number. Let's make that look like numbers to the humber. 
number. Okay, so we would do what? 75 minus 5 times 7, right? That's how we would do that. Alright, so if you use the rule to predict the number of weeks it will take Ethan to repay the entire $75, what must 5W equal? I want you to think about this. How much does he owe? $75. So what does 5W need to equal? 75. So 5W needs to equal 75. All right, so on 9 through 13, I'm going to have you do a lot on your own. All right, so pay attention because we've done some together. Now you're going to do some on your own. So, a movie club charges a monthly membership fee. They also charge a fee for each movie downloaded. The table shows the cost for downloading different numbers of movies. All right, so you have this cost here one movie fourteen dollars two movies eighteen dollars well on number nine it says fill in the blanks beside the table to help you figure out the cost of each download so 18 minus 14 is 4 22 minus 18 is 4 26 minus 22 is 4 so each download costs four dollars right so we can say one download costs four dollars how much is the monthly membership fee? Well, check this out. In one month, it was $14, right? Well, if we subtract 4 from 14, what do we get? We get 10. All right, so we subtract that 4, four from 14 to get the $10. That's how we, much we know the, uh, uh, the membership is, okay? I want to see if you can do this. See if you can impress me with this. Write, write a rule in the table for the total cost for membership and downloading M movies. I want you to go ahead, go back to that table, okay? And this right here, I want you to write the rule in it. All right, go ahead and do that, and then we'll go over it. All right, so I want you to look at something. This is M, right? Okay, and we're going to take that, right? We're going to take 4M because each one costs $4, okay? We're going to multiply that number of movies so that you downloaded four movies, okay? So 4M plus 10. Now, the 4 is not the 4 here, that would be the M. That would be 4 times 4. We would put 4 with M. The 4 in the 4M is the cost of each movie. The cost of each movie download. So 4M plus 10. You could say 10 plus 4 times M, 4 times M plus 10. Several ways you can do it. Maybe I'll pause this and get some, um, get some of the rules that you did. All right, so let's go ahead and go to number 11. We get the rule in the table. Use the rule in the table to make a prediction. What is the total cost for membership in downloading nine movies? All right, and then I want you to explain that answer. And you can explain that answer by using math. All right, go ahead and do that, and then we'll go over it. All right, so I'm going to explain it first because I want to go, well, it's 4M plus 10. Whoa. <laughs> Went crazy on my M there, didn't I? 4M plus 10. Well, 9 movies, so 4 times 9 plus 10. So that would be 36 plus 10. So that would equal 46. 46 dollars. Right? So look, 9 movies. Put the 9 in the M spot. 4 times 9, 36, plus 10 for the fee, it'd be $46 to download 9 movies. Alright, I want you to try number 13. Try number 13 and then we'll go over it.
All right, so if I wrote a rule, I would use 2p plus 1 because I'm multiplying each number times 2 and then adding 1. So I would take 3, 2 times 3 plus 1, 2 times 3 plus 1 is 7. See? 3, 5, 7, 9. That's how that works. Alright, so hopefully you've got a little bit of a grasp on this if you've been really paying attention. Alright, have a good one.